This way, Mr. Bond. Ah, Miss Goodnight. James! Aren't we a little overdressed, Goodnight? I like a girl in a bikini. No concealed weapons. Miss Goodnight, please. Mr. Bond. Now, let's see what knick-knack has for us. Ah, mushrooms. The fried mushroom looks terribly interesting. Yes, I'd notice that. I'll get around to it later. Having fun in the sun, good night? Yes. I could stay here forever. Mm. Excellent. Slightly reminiscent of a 34 Mouton. Then I must add it to my cellar. You uh, live well, Scaramanga. As a million dollars a contract, I can afford to, Mr. Bond. You work for Peanuts. A hearty well done from Her Majesty the Queen and a pittance of a pension. Apart from that, we are the same. To us, Mr. Bond, we are the best. It's a useful four-letter word, and you're full of it. When I kill, it's on the specific orders of my government. And those I kill are themselves killers. Oh, come, come, Mr. Bond. You disappoint me. You get as much fulfillment out of killing as I do, so why didn't you admit it? I admit killing you would be a pleasure. You should have done that when you first saw me. But then, of course, the English don't consider it sporting to kill in cold blood, do they? Don't count on that. I could have shot you down when you landed, but that would have been ridiculously easy. You see, Mr. Bond, like every great artist, I want to create an indisputable masterpiece once in my lifetime. The death of 007, mano a mano, face to face, will be mine. You mean stuffed and displayed over your rocky mantelpiece? That's an amusing idea, but I was thinking in terms of history. A duel between titans. My golden gun against your Walther PPK. Each of us with a 50-50 chance. Six bullets to your one? I only need one. Sounds a bit old-fashioned, doesn't it? I mean, pistols at dawn, that sort of thing. Indeed it is, Mr. Bond. But it still remains the only true test for gentlemen. I doubt if you qualify on that score. However, I accept. As soon as I finish this delicious lunch that Nick Knack has prepared for us. <laughs> 